internet friends. Happy Friday to everyone. Actually, it's Saturday. Who am I kidding? Uh, we put out the uh, post on Friday for the Friday Top 5, and then we just ran out of time, and by we, I mean me, ran out of time of recording this. So it is the Friday Top 5, but it's on Saturday. Um, but anyway, regardless of the day, I'm excited you're here. Uh, we've got five things that I thought were interesting and notable uh, in culture, which is always fancy words for cool stuff that I'm into. Um, if you're new around here, this is the Daily Blend Show, if you haven't figured that out already. My name is Reed Daly, and thanks for tuning in. Uh, this week, we're going to showcase new tech, places to go to get some Joe, wine, pizza, watches, and sneakers. Uh to say that this episode has it all is an understatement. It's going to be jam-packed in about, I don't know, 15, 10 minutes of amazing information that you can get nowhere else but here. As always, thanks for subscribing. Um, and if you're not subscribing, you should subscribe on your favorite podcast platforms. We're on Anchor, uh, Spotify, Google, and Apple. And we push the show over to YouTube if you're not into the whole podcast, app, you know, thing. All right. So with all that out of the way, let's jump into the show. So the first story, I am so excited to see, use, play with, experience this new device. It's called the Samsung Freestyle. And... From the looks of it and the videos I've seen, it's basically if Sonos and a movie projector were just mashed together. So it's super portable looking within reason. It's not like the uh, you know, Sonos Roam, but it's more like the Move, I think it was. And it can do speakers. It can do video. It can do light projection. So it's like the greatest device for a dad with a small child. You can literally set up a movie theater anywhere, outside, inside, in your room. And what's cool is it's like smart tech. So it knows, like, based on the angle you put it, you know, how to point to the wall. So it's not just having to be square. It shoots up a um, hundred inches, so you know some of those big screen projector TVs are bigger, but um, it looks pretty awesome. Now the price tag is a little high, eight ninety nine, but I get excited for two reasons. One, this price will drop most likely for Black Friday or whatever Cyber Monday in about mm, eight months. This is also Generation One, so with each generation, they'll get better more uh, sophisticated, and then the older ones will go down in price. So um, as soon as this product hits Best Buy, I'm going to go up there and check it out, and I'll let you know. And uh, hopefully I'm going to get my hands on one for the uh, non-winter months here in warm, and by warm I mean freezing cold Chicago. All right, the next story is about, it's kind of two stories. It's called End Done. And uh, about Kevin Lyons. So N. Dunn comes together with one of the most prolific street artists, Kevin Lyons, for a unique monstru monstrous collection showcasing his signature monster characters. So it's a watch collaboration, if you couldn't figure that out from my description. So Kevin Lyons is sort of like a pop artist whose main feature are these like crazy monsters. And uh, Undone is a, a watch company. And so they've got a couple series out. Um, they're like $300. So a little more than like just kind of like a fun purchase, kind of like what I've talked to you guys about on the show with like Parchy Watch or Parchy Pal. But, uh, you know, not like a 1000 or $5,000 watch. Anyway, they're very loud and bold, bright colors. Um, and so go check them out. You might uh, enjoy them for yourself or your kids, or maybe one for both. All right, so next, uh, I titled this Same Animal But Different Beast. And that was supposed to be like the most clever headline, and I think I stole that from the 
Kobe Bryant commercial for the system six or seven with his shoe, the Kobe system. But anyway, enough about Kobe uh, and me stealing taglines or leveraging, as we would say. Uh, Prairie Bar and Espresso, which is up in Lake Bluff. So I live in Lake Forest, town above me. Uh, used to be this great coffee nook. Um, I wouldn't even call it a shop. It was like a nook in the back of an alley. And you'd go get your cup of coffee. The coffee was fantastic. The hours were hit or miss, unfortunately. Um, but the coffee was amazing. And they had this great, call it alleyway, um, you know, that you could actually walk through. It wasn't like a dead end. And it was covered with grape leaves. So in the summertime, you had these like amazing coverage and it was really peaceful. And every time I went there, it was like, you know, 10 or 15 minutes to chill out. And they would do collaborations with pizza, of you know, uh, portable pizza makers, and I think barbecue at some point. But um, the owner, who I believe his name is John, has opened up a full location right around the corner. So if they're the back of an alley of like a corner, go up to the top, make a left to the second door in. And I think at some point they're going to connect the two, uh, the, the coffee shop and the, the current kind of bar cafe but um this is what my town has been needing or the my area i suppose uh it's a bar slash coffee area i go in there between 8 42 and 9 21 yes those are very specific times and i get a piping hot uh americano on monday wednesday and thursdays it gets my sort of mid-morning going after i've already had a couple and kind of Needed another jolt of caffeine. Uh, they serve beer and wine, although I haven't been there for that, but one would assume it tastes like beer and wine. They don't have a full liquor license yet. It will be interesting to see when that comes through, but I highly recommend you checking it out. Not only is it a great uh, you know, coffee spot, but they have music always pumping, chilled out staff, uh, and this really great you know, green aesthetic of the bar. The kind of like roof is almost like a tin looking roof, kind of like a New Orleans style, but instead of copper, it's dark, kind of forest green, even darker than that, maybe military green, somewhere in between. But uh, who cares about the ceiling? Uh, We're going to talk more about this. We're probably going to cover this as part of like our adventure series of coffee shops around the North Shore. So more to come on Prairie. And uh, I've linked to their Facebook and Instagram. So if you don't know where they're located, you can find it on Google Map. All right. So the fourth story is what I'm putting into as the intro to wine for normal people. So uh, a couple weeks ago, I featured Anders, uh, who is a cocktail YouTuber. And he does just like these great 10 or 15 minute... uh, cocktail videos. I find them extremely interesting. I like his videos. I like Steve the Bartenders. And there's one other guy that I'm just blanking on the name. Anyway, uh, he and I think it's his girlfriend or fiance, maybe his wife, sorry if I've screwed up your relationship status, are in the video talking about 101s for wines, right? It's like glassing, sniffing, words to say, stuff like that. And I thought this was like just a really good primer for people trying to get into wine. Um, and on this show, I'm going to start talking a little more about wine because I've been sort of steadily moving from, let's call it like the grocery store buys into higher price point wines and, and like sort of getting annoyed when I don't have like a decent bottle of wine. I'm not talking an expensive, just a decent or more than decent, um, you know, on like a Friday or Saturday. So we're going to talk about wine more uh, for sure. But uh, I thought this was just a good primer for things to come. The next story is a video that I've been searching for because I make pizzas quite often and I put them on my green egg. And I buy my dough at the store. I've tried a bunch of different doughs. And what I did is I highlighted um, this guy and kind of he's talking about how he makes his Neapolitan pizza. And don't ask me to pronounce his name. I'm just going to crush that. So the video walks through how to make the dough, how to let the dough rest, how to make the pizza um, sauce, how to cook the pizza. Now, I'm using a green egg. He's using just a grill, but it's super helpful. So 
uh, for other grill warriors out there that are just looking to change it up from barbecue, ribs, hamburgers, etc. Go watch this video. I think you'll enjoy it. So the last story I'm talking about is sneakers. And this one is about Notra Times Vans. And I think last week we featured the fact that they were doing a collaboration. And I just want to further highlight this just because I'm a big fan of Notra Shop. I like what they're doing. I thought this collaboration was really cool of doing Vans, Notra, coffee, and matcha. So not only do they have the shoes with the signature sort of Notra community hands, but they also are doing uh, little coffee uh, mugs or cups, however you want to call them, for the matcha and the, the um, coffee. And uh, I'm hoping to get down there tomorrow, and, and I'm fingers crossed that there aren't sold out on the cups or the sneakers. We'll see. But uh, congrats to the team over at Notra. From everything on social media, it looks like the collab is going really well. Saw a couple pictures of people lines out the door, which is great for them, bad for me in terms of sneakers and cups. But uh, life moves on. Anyway, uh, that wraps it up for the Friday Top 5. Uh, thanks again for tuning in. And as always, you can find me, Reed Daily, uh, on Twitter and Instagram, at Reed Daily. You can find Daily Blend on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, dailyblend.com. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe to the show. It might be the best decision you make this Saturday. And with that said, enjoy your weekend, and we'll talk to you soon.